Okay, welcome to the knapsack problem. That's knapsack, specifically the zero one knapsack. Uh, the zero one uh, is binary. It means for for each element in the list, uh, zero means you don't take it. One means you do take it. So let's walk through a little example. You're gonna have various items of the form. ID weight value. So this is just going to be some integer. Well, for the sake of this video, these are all going to be just integers. But um, the weights and values and should be integers for this problem to be well posed, I guess. So the problem is we have a knapsack or a backpack or a bag that can hold a certain amount of weight and we have a list of items and they all have weights and values and the goal is to get the most valuable collection of elements without exceeding the weight constraint so let's Start by uh, let's just write a function to generate random items. I want to generate in items. Tuples. I is going to be the ID. Um, and I'll make that the same. So let's just check to see if this works. Uh, let's say we want three items. Hello. Now, why did that not work? Ah. random is a function. Okay, so here we have three items, ID 0, 1, 2, with weights 9, 5, 7, and values 5, 9, 6. So we can do this for any length. We're going to get random values. Let's keep it at And we'll use that later. Um, so we're also going to need one more function. Uh, I went over this in one of my earlier videos. I'll just type it here real quick. power sets. A uh, power set basically means every possible subset including the empty set or the null set. You, you'll see. I will print for you. Okay. So print the power set of this data. So okay. 
Okay, so the data is just two, two tuples. So the power set is going to be the empty set, this tuple, this tuple, and then both tuples. So there are three items. Actually, not. This might be an easier demo with just integers. There we go. So if you just have the integers. Zero, two. We get the empty set. The set consisting of zero, the set consisting of one, the set consisting of two, then zero, one, zero, two, one, two, and then everything. Okay. We don't need that anymore. So. Usually when you're using power sets, you're also using another word called brute force. Um, brute force basically means you're going to try every different um, set in the power set. And since this is 0, 1, the power set is essentially handling the zero-ness, oneness of this problem. So, I'm going to say we start with nothing. Best weight equals zero. Best value equals zero. So, for each item set in the power sets, uh, weight of it is just going to be the sum. Of the first element. So, or not the first, the second, which is index one. And similarly, set value. Is going to be the sum of all the third elements of those tuples of items from the power sets. Are you confused yet? And so if the set value is greater than the best value and the set weight is less than or equal to max weight. We need to update. Um, best value equals set value. Best weight equals set weight. And we're going to set the knapsack equal to the item set. And we're just going to return this. some values associated with it. So to test this we need to say um, let's just define max weight as 10. And let's get five of these items. Say knapsack, opt weight, opt value equals knapsack brute force data max w. So let's print these things, not just this one. Okay. So, out of all these things, where we have ID, weight, value, 
these are going to be smaller than the max weight. So weight's the second one. Max weight is 10. So here we have 4 plus 1. So we have weight 5. And the value is 19. So let's run this again. So here we have a random new set of data. plus 3, that's 10, and the value is going to be 9 plus 7, or 16, and I doubt you'll be able to find a better combination up in here. The problem with this is it takes a long time to go through these items. Actually, that was way too big. Let's just try 10. Okay, let's try 15. Try 16. Let's try 20. Thinking, thinking, thinking. So power sets take forever because there are two to the n of them, where n is the number of items in the set. So let's just print that out at the top. Um, So it has to go through that many power sets. That's just over a million. And that is why brute force is slow. So in the next video, I'll do this using a greedy algorithm, which does not guarantee an optimal solution, but it does guarantee that you'll get an answer at least 50% optimal in a decent amount of time. So, thanks.